Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix entry point not found dynamic link library error on Windows 10, 8 or 7 computer. It is really a very easy process to fix it in next three steps. So let's get started. So open any of your browser and open google.com and here we need to type visual C++ package 2013 so once you have typed it hit enter now once you are in the results page you will find visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013 so I'll just click on that please make sure you're visiting the Microsoft website and here we can change the language like English French German so once you're done with the language click on download and here you will find choose the download you want so if you're using a 64-bit computer select this and then click on download and if you're using 32-bit computer then you need to download the x86 now these days almost every computer is a 64-bit so you can select that and if you want to check what is the bit of a computer then in the search icon just type CMD and then run as an administrator and then it will ask you to say yes and here we just need to type system info system info and hit enter now the moment you do it it will load the information if we scroll it to the top here we can see system type x64 bit so once you have checked it you can download this we just have to do a check mark and click on next and a very small file will be downloaded you just need to open that and here you just need to agree and click on install it will ask you to say yes set up successful so I'll just close it and we need to restart the computer and again we need to come here and type google.com and here we need to type visual C++ 2015 I'll just maximize it you just need to type visual C++ package 2015 and here we need to do the same process now the third step is very important and please make sure you do it in the search icon type CMD run as a administrator and click on yes and here we need to type SFC space forward slash scan now now I'll just maximize it please make sure you do not miss this step so once you have typed it hit enter so now it will scan and repair the whole computer and once this process is done you just need to restart the computer it might take some time it may take 10 15 or maybe more than that but it will be definitely worth it please let me know in the comment section if it has worked for you and please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day